I'll stick my head out the window. I'll fly wherever the wind blows. Moonwalking over the rainbow. That's just where I'll be. A couple of you have asked for a house tour, so I thought I would, because the space is quite small, I thought I would show you the house and how it's set up, but then I also thought I would talk through a lot of the things that we were able to buy secondhand, Facebook Marketplace, thrifted, and what we bought new as well. So yeah, I thought that's what we would do today. I'm just gonna have a shower first and sort of get dressed and ready for the day. And then maybe we'll start outside in the garden because the garden is just, a really nice space. It's mostly concrete, but we've got a lot of fun things that we can plan to do next year that I think I will talk you through. And also, if you have any ideas, then um, please, please help me out because again, I'm still a beginner gardener. And when I was at my parents' house, they already had raised beds sort of set up. So I didn't even have to think about, you know, how that would look or anything like that. I think the garden has a lot of potential. These buckets or these boxes were here when we got here and some of them have some herbs that are surviving but some are pretty much empty which is why I put the loamy compost in there. I'm moving all of the leaves which were conveniently put into a pile by the wind and I'm just moving them onto the beds. I don't want to get rid of them, I don't want to disrupt the insects that are overwintering there so that's why I'm using just my hands to be very gentle. We also have this little path that leads out to the street and we have two roses on the left and I'm just picking up some sticks to basically put in the compost bin because I want to be able to fill up some raised beds with those and just have some organic matter in there. This is supposed to be a car parking space. Denver is set up kind of weirdly like that I guess but we decided to leave it just for the garden um, but that's pretty much it. It's a small garden but we're very very lucky to have it. This is our biggest room. This is the kitchen, dining, living area. Under here we actually have all of our coats and to save space we put this shoe rack on the back of the door. This is where the tumble dryer and the washing machine are as well, so it's really nicely tucked away. This is undoubtedly my favourite spot in the house. We got this table and chairs from Facebook Marketplace for $75. We were renting a U-Haul to go and get our bed frame from the mountains and we decided to try and make as much use of that U-Haul uh, as possible so we managed to get onto Facebook Marketplace and find this table and get it that same day. I also thrifted this vase because my managers sent me some flowers to say congratulations for moving so it was a nice excuse. I've had quite a few questions about this lettuce grow farm stand and everything is really growing nicely. I talk a little bit more about it later on, so if you do have any more questions after this video, obviously please let me know. I brought the Lomi with me when I moved to the US. This is a really expensive piece of kit and I thought it just would not get used back at home. And I honestly thought that we wouldn't have a garden when we moved to Denver. We got incredibly lucky being able to get one, so I definitely wanted to bring this. We also use Swedish dish cloths to obviously wipe, wash our dishes and a sponge and this kind of copper scratchy thing. It's really, really helpful. And we also thrifted a mason jar, which we just refill with washing up liquid. This is also actually one of my favorite corners because it has all of our plants. Most of these plant pots are actually thrifted as well as this fruit bowl and these pots here. These jars as well were thrifted, but this chopping board was actually bought from Etsy by my partner just because he absolutely loves these sort of wooden chopping boards. And they're incredibly useful, especially if you have expensive knives. This kettle is actually something I got for my husband as one of his birthday presents about three years ago. So we obviously brought that. And this toaster we were able to buy out of box for $100 off because they are outrageously expensive. Our glasses we got from an antique store and most of our plates we were actually able to get from Goodwill, apart from a couple that I brought with me that were handmade by my friend. The same with the glasses, this mixing bowl I was able to get from a vintage shop. It was about $45, so it wasn't cheap, but I wanted to get one that was very similar to this one, which my mum had, and I just really loved it. 
We also got these two bars from H Mart. We did not get these secondhand, but they were on sale and they were just beautiful. I've had these for so many years now and definitely had to bring them. My friend also made these two mugs and this milk jar, which I was definitely gonna bring. I've had a few questions about this green mug and it was actually a gift from my husband's mum from a local maker in Ann Arbor. We already had this grinder. My husband again got it for Christmas maybe two years ago. So we really tried to bring as much as possible that, that were ours. The only thing I think we want is a bookshelf for these books, but this lamp is one of my favorite finds. It was only $15 that we got from an ARC thrift store down in Littleton and it has three different lights and it's just really nice. Okay, so that's the sort of main space in terms of the kitchen and I guess what would be considered a living room if you, yeah? But we kind of use it just as like a dining room and a little workstation when it's really sunny in the corner. Behind me, this is the bathroom, obviously. I think you've seen snippets of it when I filmed sort of showing you. It's got a really nice sort of accent wall with the brick because this side of the building is actually new and that side of the building is actually really old. It just used to be that side, so that side gets quite cold because it's all brick. And then all of this is like a, a new add-on building. I think that used to be a kind of, uh, I don't know what it was, like a little station of some, some sort, but it wasn't a proper house. It was just a small building that I guess this other house used to use and they decided to cut off half the garden and change this into a different property and add on this sort of extension. So this mirror is actually covering up what used to be a doorway. So that's why it's so big, which is really nice. And actually on the other side of this is another sink, bizarrely. I think the people who used to live in here before used that other room as their bedroom, but it was much bigger than the bedroom that we use. So we decided to use it as the space that we both work and put a little sofa in there as well for, you know, reading and relaxing and whatever. So other than the chest of drawers and the, well, yeah, that's the only kind of storage we have in terms of clothes. But apart from that, we have this cupboard here, which you've seen in my first Vlogmas video, which we just used to have clothes. And then actually in the bottom, we reused our bags that our duvets came in to put any of our summer clothes and things that we, it was just far too cold to, to wear now, or any of our other kind of, you know, summer sport clothes that we just don't use. We also have two quite deep cupboards at the top and those we put things like our suitcases and any other sort of big things that we're not using. There's a surprising amount of storage for such a sort of like small compact place which is really helpful because then it means that we only have to have out the things that we are actually using and it gives a feeling that it's nice and, and tidy most of the time anyway. I also showed you in a different video that we got our side tables, they're made from reclaimed wood and we got them from an antique store on South Broadway. And then we got the two lamps, which I think are originally from Ikea, but we actually got them from a yard sale. So it was just $10 for both of them, which is so good. I was worried that having side tables I didn't have any drawers would be kind of annoying, but actually pretty good. It's nice because it forces you to keep that space tidy and we only have like a book and maybe a water bottle there which is really helpful for keeping the space nice and, and nice and calm and more minimal. So this is our space. We really have tried really hard to thrift as much as possible. And to be honest, I'm 
As someone who doesn't buy that much stuff very often, it's quite overwhelming to spend a lot of money and to bring a lot of things into your life very quickly. One thing we really wanted was to have the space to feel comfortable in terms of having the things that we use every single day. So having a table to sit at so we can eat and you know, do admin or this is where I spend the morning planning my day. When I say that, I literally spend, <laughs> literally spend five minutes making some kind of schedule because if I don't, then I, my brain just doesn't, it just sits there being like, what am I supposed to do today? So I'm that kind of person. I really need that. So it's a really beautiful space to be able to do that in the first place. I really needed this as well, this sort of, this sideboard. I'm not actually sure what it is. I think it's actually supposed to be a sort of TV thing, but I needed that for putting all of my camera stuff and all of that in just one place. I found it very difficult when I was living elsewhere, not having one space to put everything. And it's very handy having it in the kitchen considering I film mostly in here and I edit mostly in there. With the farm stand, they do, they recommend having the lights on like six hours a day and the water 15 minutes every hour. For us, that just seemed like far too much, especially because we have it in a very sunny spot. So we only put it on maximum two hours a day. And then we do that either in the morning when it's still a bit dark or in the evening when it's getting dark. And with the water, we actually only put it on four times a day instead of you know, every single hour. And that is because we're conscious about using electricity and water and all of those different resources. We wanna be cognizant of, of using things like that. We also don't use our oven very often. I got a question about that, about energy efficiency and whether it's, you know, efficient to bake three cookies <laughs> in the oven. And of course it's not, but we already had the oven on in the morning baking some bread. So I thought I would reuse that to bake some cookies as well. This is something that is always on my mind, you know, energy efficiency, resource efficiency, and making sure that we're actually using things in a sensible way. I also tried to buy the plants as a small version because they're much more affordable. And then there are some ways that I'm gonna try to figure out how to propagate them. That's why I bought one of those um, Chinese money plants again, because I found them so easy to look after and to take care of at home. And I was able to propagate those and just, it was wild how many we were able to produce. And then it gives you more plants and then you can give some for friends as well. I think that's such a nice gift to make a place more homely and also to just save a bit of money if you do want to give a thoughtful gift, but you're stretched in terms of your budget. I found that plants are very expensive in the US, just like most things. So again, that's why I wanted to get those little ones, which are about $4, and then really learn to take care of them and nurture them so that they grow into something really big and beautiful. Okay, I really hope that you enjoyed this sort of like little house tour. And if you have any questions, please, please do let me know. I am really excited about what we can do with the garden this year. And I think for now, hopefully, we're set with everything. I don't really wanna buy any more things. I don't wanna bring anything else in. So that's probably one of the big reasons why we haven't really decorated and why I wanted a really small tree if we were gonna to have to get one. Because yeah, it just feels quite overwhelming to have everything brought in and I think we're there now. So the only thing I do want is a bookshelf, but that will come with time once we find the right one. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow.